I'd love to tell you we had a great show for you, but let's be honest, you're all pissed off, every one of you. Every one of you out there is upset. You're upset about something. Either upset about the New York Yankees. You're upset that the Mets let this thing get out of control, knowing that they were going to tease you in the last month of the season. You're upset that Derek Jeter gets into the Hall of Fame on a Wednesday. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, arguably the greatest Yankee of uh, the last 30 years gets in on a Wednesday at 3 o'clock. What are we doing? In any event, we're here to all the way, and we got you covered. Good afternoon, Evan. How are you today? Again? I got to be the positive one. Today's Derek Cheater Day. You should be happy. You should be smiling. No. I don't think it's bad that he's getting inducted on a Wednesday. On a Wednesday at 3 Craig, o'clock? Craig, like, is anyone's Craig. paying attention? Okay. And normally, you've got some balls starting the show off like nothing happened yesterday. Normally, you the, big, <laughs> you're, you're a jinx. <laughs> Hold on. You're a no good wet blanket, cold blanket, bad luck what, jinx. What are you blaming me for? Okay, I'm going to tell you what I'm blaming you yeah. for. Yeah, I have done nothing wrong. I thought went about home it all last night. night. I scored the Met game. I watched the Yankee game. I had yeah. my fantasy draft. Yeah, I, I've been on my best behavior. Oh, I'm showing proper respect to the great Derek Cheater. Like, man, I've been I've been good. No, you haven't. You haven't been good. You've been the opposite of good, which is bad. You douchey bad luck charm. Douchey? I'm sorry, Evan. That's what it is. What the hey, heck? Hey, Craig. Guess what? Hey, Yankee fans. Guess what? I've taken the time because I was up at 3 in the morning, and I've calculated how many starts Garrett Cole has left. Oh, and trust God. me on this one, you're going to want a pitching Sunday against the Mets. Yeah. La, la, la. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so let me back up the truck here for a second. So uh, three months ago, Evan did the same crap when it came down to his own guy, Jacob deGrom. Hey, Craig, I was up last night. I calculated how many more starts deGrom has, and he better pitch this Friday. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And bang, just like that, Jacob deGrom never pitches again. So yesterday, I did everything in my power to get you not to say the words you said, which was that you had done the calculations on how many starts Garrett Cole had left. But you couldn't help yourself. And what happened? Fourth inning. I mean, yes, couldn't have foobarred it any worse than they did. Mm -hmm. I think he's got a blister. <laughs> right. I think his hand hurts him. Oh, there's something wrong with his hand. It must be one of his fingers. Maybe he's got a broken cuticle. Yeah. Yeah. It's his hamstring, numb nuts. <laughs> so he comes out of the game. He was losing anyway. And the way the Yankee offense has been, it wouldn't have mattered if Garrett Cole pitched another three innings, in my opinion. They weren't going to score any runs anyway. And now Garrett Cole, after you asked me to text the manager, mm -hmm. is Garrett going to play on Sunday? Yes. And what did Aaron Boone say to me yesterday before the game? He said, we'll have to wait and see, Craig. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's he, get through tonight That's first. what he said? Yeah. He said, let's get through tonight, and yeah. then we'll figure it out. Well, we did not get through tonight last night, and now the Yankees are in a spot. Listen, they don't win every game Garrett Cole pitches anyway, much like the Mets didn't win every game that DeGrom pitch or any team wins every game that the race pitches, but you have a better chance to win when guys like that are on the mound. So here the Yankees are, what, 24 games to go? Mm -hmm. How many games are they up over at Toronto right now? Right now they are... Because I don't care about the Red Sox. That's immaterial. You got to get in. Two games in the loss column, two and a half overall so on just, just making column. the playoffs. All right, yes. so two games in the loss column, 24 games to go. Yes. And that means that when this series is over, they might be in a virtual tie for the last wild card spot. Not the first wild card spot. That's on the table, right? Mm -hmm. What the F's going on? That's right. The baseball sucks, and it's great at the same time because look at us. 24 games to go, edge of your seat. Every pitch matters. Every game matters. Even the Mets are now kind of weaseling their way back into contention so that on a random Tuesday or Wednesday, you can't go out for ice cream with your kids because you got to watch every last pitch. It's beautiful, and it's painstaking at the same time. All right. Take a deep breath. It's like Pamela Anderson's vagina. <laughs> wow. I've never heard the beautiful sport of baseball compared to that before. Yes. That is a first, my It'll friend. It'll kill you with a smile on your face. That's what this is. Right. And I don't know if I can take it do because you, football starts tomorrow night. What am I supposed to do? Do you want to take it? I don't it. have five TVs on the wall. Well, then you got to come over to my house. I got the five TVs on the wall, baby. Look, why did the New York Yankees lose last night's game? Let's start easy. They didn't lose last night's game because of Garrett Cole pulling a hand. That's what I said. And they Garrett don't score Cole any runs. Okay, so that's the issue. 
even with Joey Gallo out of the lineup, even with your guy, Andrew Velasquez, in the lineup, and he did have two hits. Yes, he did. Even with the changes that the Yankee fan wanted, here's what didn't change. Aaron Judge did nothing. DJ LeMahieu did nothing. The New York Yankees had zero extra base hits in last night's game. The New York Yankees offensively are limp. So, yes, the Garrett Cole thing is a concern, but here's the truth. We have no idea if he's going to miss a start. This is not going to turn into what happened to Jacob DeGrom. It doesn't feel like a serious hamstring issue. It feels like, yeah, maybe he doesn't start Sunday. Maybe it's pushed back a couple of days. But the truth is, if the New York Yankees are going to avoid a collapse, if they're going to avoid pulling a 2007 New York Mets, more so than Garrett Cole, they have to hit. Yeah, I'm with you. By the way, I heard earlier today, and I'm just going to take uh, Moose and Maggie at their word because they're good at what they do, right? 21 straight innings now without an extra base hit? Is that accurate? Well, I that give the you Yankees that. have gone 21 innings without a double, triple so, home run? I- I'll one up that a little bit, and I saw this stat tweeted last night. And it was mind boggling. The New York Yankees in back to back games not only have not had an extra base hit, which you just said, they've also not drawn a walk. That's the first time the Yankees have done that since 1962, where they've had back-to-back games where they haven't had an extra base hit and they haven't drawn a walk. From top to bottom, this offense sucks. Yeah. Aaron Judge is beloved here. Aaron Judge is 0 for his last 19. Yep. That's what's happening right now. You're right. So, look, should we be worried a little bit about Garrett Cole and when he's going to make his next start? Of course. I, I saw what Garrett said after the game. He basically told every Yankee fan, I have no idea. He, by he the said. way, he, I mean, that guy should never speak. Just a little quick aside. I mean, you could ask him what he had for breakfast, and he will he will go on for 13 minutes, <laughs> and you have no idea what the man ate for breakfast. Like, you, if you saw last night's press conference, and I'm glad he did you know, address the media because he's the story, but I I, I, <laughs> I heard it. The first time I heard it, Evan, I thought he he said, "I'm not coming back till the postseason if we make it." <laughs> That's what you took. I swear to God, I was like, "Did he just say it would be really important to be ready for the uh, for the wild card game?" I, I that's what I thought. Yeah. Then I listened to it again, and he might pitch on Sunday. Well, he's Garrett like, Cole. He's a you know. Hey, listen, I'm in I'm in a great mood because I always am these days. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm on the edge, Evan. So the Yankees gonna um, make the playoffs. Of course they're going to make the playoffs. <laughs> oh, so then why are you on the edge? Because this is the beauty of sports. This is why I love the I love this by the way. Yeah. Cuz I hate it. And I love it at the same time. I love the fact that a week and a half ago you were sucked in enough to say sort of serious. The New York Yankees will not lose another game. They like, were going to win 37 yeah, straight. There was a part of you that wasn't even kidding. Nope. That was like, wait a second. That's right. We're this good. That's why right. the hell not? How could they lose? And ever since that winning streak ended in Oakland, and it started so innocently with those back-to-back losses to the A's, this has been a different Yankee team. And you just have to wonder whether it's tonight or it's tomorrow. And who knows? Luis Heal may be the perfect guy for this because last year, and I don't know if you remember this, and that's okay if you don't, I'll remind you. The New York Yankees were collapsing. It looked like they were actually going to miss the playoffs in a year in which Major League Baseball was handing out playoff spots to everybody. And there was a game against the Toronto Blue Jays. It was not in New York, but it was against the Blue... Well, it wasn't New York. It was up in Buffalo. And a young gentleman named Davey Garcia saved the Yankees' asses. He saved their season last year. Yeah. That was the game that saved them. So let's go to 2021 a year later. Same opponent, same state. Different location. The New York Yankees need Luis Heal to help save their season. Because, look, they still have to score runs. They still have to actually get an extra base hit. They still need to do that. But they are looking. Their lonely eyes look towards Luis Heal. And maybe he channels By the what way, Davey Garcia did a year ago. Just think about that. Put that into context, right? Here are the, the Yankees won 13 games in a row. Every every pundit in the world, here come the Yankees. They're unstoppable. They're going to win the division, overtake Tampa. They're winning the World Series. And now their season, in part, not mm-hmm. just tonight, because they're not going to win or lose the wild card spot tonight alone. The new the vaunted New York Yankees with Judge and Stanton and the machine and all the guys that we've all read about, right? Is going to come down to a guy that in March, you didn't know existed, more or less, right? An unknown 20-year-old? Isn't that the beauty of baseball, Craig? I Isn't hate that- this goddamn sport. I swear to <laughs> I, I really that- do. Isn't that everything that's great I about it? I hate it with love and passion. 
<laughs> and it, because now I know what my whole month of September is. Obviously, Jets, Giants, football. I'm a football guy, right? Football, football, well, football. But uh, there's not every single night now. But Craig, I got to sit there and watch this crap. Craig. So today, Derek Jeter, and is I being love in, it. Derek Jeter is being inducted into the Hall of Fame yeah, on a Wednesday, that, two o'clock. Like that makes sense. When it's Derek Jeter, him, by the way, played, he shouldn't have shown up for it. When Derek Jeter played for the New York Yankees, meaningful September games didn't exist, and that's not a knock on Jeter. That's a compliment. The Yankee fan never experienced important September games because they had playoff spots wrapped up. Not the sure, New yeah. York Yankees were rarely, if ever, involved in a legitimate playoff race in the Derek Jeter era. This is what we call, Craig, the real world. This is a pennant race. Yeah. It's stressful. It's up. It's down. But I share good news with you. You hate the Tampa Bay Rays Yankee fans? You can't stand them? Ooh, I hate the Rays. The Toronto Blue Jays, one of the biggest threats to you guys missing the playoffs, have to play the Rays six more times. Good. So I love the, the Rays. So the Tampa Bay Rays are your BFFs. I once pet a Manta Ray. You ever pet a Ray? I have never pet oh, a Ray. Oh, yeah. You can pet them. They domesticate them things. Really? Oh, yeah. That's right. Huh. Yeah. It's St. John. It's like near St. Thomas and St. Uh, Martin. They have a, like a family of uh, manta, manta rays, and they come up. You feed them, you pet them. They're all nice. What? You talk to them. Oh. You take them for walks. Would you stuff. say to the Ray? Can you beat I the said, Blue Hello, Jays for Ray. me, please? Well, listen. I, I like what they did to the Red Sox. They spanked the Red Sox. Yeah. So that helps the Yankees and hopefully Tampa. Listen, we're giving you the division on a platter. Take it. Oh, it's okay. They're take giving it. it to them. They took it, bro. That's fine. You didn't have to give them anything. We're gonna give that to you they because we feel it. for you. <laughs> yeah. You play in Tampa, no one cares. The That's defending American League champions, you feel for? Yeah, we're gonna. Okay. It's all I give to you. You just keep doing what you're supposed to be doing, and that sweep Toronto. Because listen, with 24 games to go, two games in the loss come up. You now can play the mathematical game, and the mathematical game is okay. Start at 500. If the Yankees go 12 and 12 over the last 24 games, that would mean that Don't do this. The Toronto Blue Jays Don't would have this. to go 15 and 9 Don't do this. over their last 24 to catch Crap. and surpass the Yankees. It's flawed. Don't do that. The mathematics work in my favor. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this to yourself. The New York Yankees simply have to or win this. baseball games. And here's the truth. When you look at their schedule, even though they faltered at this against the Los Angeles Angels and the Baltimore Orioles, they have teams they should beat. They have more games against the Orioles. They got that makeup game against the Twins. The Indians are mediocre. And the Rangers stink. Go win some baseball games. Go hit the baseball, which they haven't done recently. And yeah, everything's in front of them. Everything's not in front of the Mets. The Mets need help. The Mets not only need to win, but they need help. The Yankees simply just have to go out, win their freaking baseball games, and they'll go to the postseason. And then hopefully, for your sake, Garrett Cole is healthy, and you can hand them the baseball in a wild card game, in which I think every Yankee fan, despite last night, and he wasn't good last night before his injury. It was it 3-1 when he came out, right? Despite last night, you would have confidence handing the baseball to Garrett Cole in a winner-take-all game. Well, we got lots to do today. Uh, the Jeter stuff we'll get to later, of course. We'll let you hear uh, his uh, acceptance speech and all that at some point this afternoon. We'll get your calls. Listen, you're a diehard Yankee fan. Bring it. Come on. Today's the day. Let's just vent. Let's get it out in the open, and let's be real about it. 877-337-6666. Uh, good news uh, football-wise, I mean, the kid's just so damn good and so handsome and likable that Zach Wilson has not thrown a single pass in the NFL yet, has already been named offensive captain of the New York Jets. They would not do that for just anybody. They've put the C on the kid's chest. Just like Urell put the S on Khalil's chest because they knew. They knew that they were destined for great things. We have a captain. His name is Zach. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. 10 and 7. Yes. 877-337-6666.